Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the escape beat. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of why you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can can and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Now we're off to. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. And as you can see, who we're going to be discussing today. Uh, it's Real Housewives of Beverly Hills star Garcia Vuvius and her teenage son. Uh, he's being attacked online through hateful messages uh, and um, trolls, I guess you would call them. Now, those are just some snippets of what was told. I'm trying to figure out how they got his um his uh telephone number to be doing texts like that. So, honey, Jax, you better watch your friends, honey. The ones that call themselves your friends to the end may be the ones you need to be looking at. Seriously. Because if they got you this uh way, taking you all out of character, you feeling some kind of way. Shoo, boy. Get your get you a new phone with a new number. And let have. And it's a shame. It really is a shame that people don't know that these reality TV shows are just that. Reality TV shows. Uh, they don't really show the complete person's life. And half the time, they just be acting on these shows. They don't necessarily be the people that they show us on TV. They can be totally different. But that is kind of piss poor for them to take their anger out on a 14-year-old. I'm like, come on, cyberbullying. Honey, get the police involved and let them retrace those, uh, what do you call it? What do you call it? Uh, those passwords. To see who actually owns what and where have the troubling emails been coming to. Okay. But we got this article from Radar Online. And it was written by uh, Whitney Vasquez on yesterday, actually. Okay. And they go into that story by saying, Garcia and her Real Housewives of Beverly Hills co-stars were forced to step in after her teenage son, Jax. 14 became the target of cyber bullies who took issue with his mom's TV drama. And I'm going to say this. Like I said, sometimes you think certain people are your friends. They're really not. And sometimes the parents may in some shape, form, or fashion tell their children that are close to you to treat them some kind of way for their negative. And, of course, they may want to do it wholeheartedly, and then sometimes they may not want to do it and won't do it, but they will tell that person what's going on. Now, uh, do you have fair-weather friends, uh, Jax, or do you have really solid true friends? Because it seems like it's some uh, enemies in your camp. So you might need to think about clearing out your circle. Okay, or vetting them and seeing who is true, meaning research, who is really true to wanting to be a friend with you and wouldn't cause this type of negativity to come at your doorstep. Okay, but going back, it says Jack exposed the online trolls on Monday, posting their hateful messages that show he's been thrown in the middle of Garcia's ongoing concern about Erica Jane's alcohol consumption in the Bravo season. Tell your mom to leave Erica alone. One hater spew on Jax's <clears throat> Instagram page. Garcia worried about your the real being canceled and leave Erica alone, mirrored another. Garcia stop using Erica, Lisa, Diane, Kyle, uh, 
a Kali direct for your free publicity, demanded a third. Hmm. Others brought Jax or the brother in, Oliver, into the conversation, pointing out his troubled past. Your brother Oliver is a drug addict, but your mom is calling Erica an alcoholic and making her look bad. Make it sense, wrote one follower. Garcelle, have you checked on Oliver's drug intake yet? Worry about that rather than worrying about Erica, posted someone else. Jax had his own message about the hateful comments. I'm a effing 14-year-old. Leave me alone, please, he wrote following the news. His mom and her co-stars jumped into the off-screen drama, including Garcia's frenemy, Lisa Renner. Now, what, what you call it should have done with uh, his mother, uh, Garcia, was to take all those hateful uh, messages and take them to the police station. And let have, let have, let have. And you might flush out the grown-up that had those kids put, uh, put those kids up to um, basically going off on Jax, okay? Because usually kids don't do that unless they're pretty much told by a grown-up uh, that wants to start trouble. They get their direction from them. That's just my opinion. Other may feel different about it. Okay, we go on back to the story. It says, we are doing a TV show. We try to entertain you. Why can't you treat it like wrestling, for God's sake? Love us, love to hate us, but leave the kids alone, she wrote. What I was just sent about Garcia's son is disgusting and unacceptable. What I heard happen to Kylie Richards' daughter, Portia, is disgusting and unacceptable. What you've said and done to my own kids is disgusting, Raina shared on her Instagram story. The threats to Erica Jane's son and I'm sure all of the other beautiful children, they didn't sign up for this. What are, what are, I think she said, what are you doing, she continued. The kids of all, of all our kids should be off limits to stop it now. Enough is enough. Garcelle agreed, responding with her own message to haters. I'm usually a very strong woman. I've been raised to be strong. My life has taught me to be strong. But when it comes to my kids, it hurts and it's not okay. She wrote, I've been in tears all night. It's just a TV show, people. Scream at your TV, throw something at your TV, but leave our kids alone. Garcia ended her post by writing, this has to stop. They're just kids. Erica faced her own backlash after she told Jax to get the F out of here at Garcia's birthday party. In April, right online, uh, dot com revealed Erica's drinking and prescription pill use was a hot topic of conversation during the filming of season 12 to the point that she was confronted head on by her closest cast member, which is Rena. Arena. <clears throat> okay, I think I ran out of the actual article, but like I said, I think um, Garcelle was, uh, she was really wrong for like before, now that's my opinion, I felt she was wrong for explaining to the haters anything. No, we would have took the stuff to the police station. They would have got their IP address and they would have shown who was doing what and what parent was letting them do this, okay? All they she needed to do for Jax is to tell Jax to, um, what do you call it? I guess keep his stuff private, only that certain friends in on to his account and then he can monitor who's doing what, okay? Uh... And she could have just got him another number, him make another do domain. Uh, he put in something like an avatar if he wanted to be a part of the mainstream media still. Just make your avatar and, and keep only things that don't have you in it. You know what I'm saying? Like if you went to a concert, just show the concert, show the people. But you don't, don't show yourself, you know what I'm saying, to be able for people to come and get into your comments. Or hell, disable your comments. You could definitely do that. So it's several ways you can handle haters. Okay? But you signed up for this stuff. Many of the grown people. And you knew that it was going to somehow trickle down into your real life. And affect people that you love in your family. And it has done so. 
but um like i said you sign up for the mess and mess kind of happens regardless of what you feel or what you may think how people are supposed to traditionally act but um uh, yeah it's a it's a shame and a scandal that we have grown-ups telling kids to do certain things to other celebrity kids and it's a hot mess I, it got this whole story got me thinking about what do you call it um suv with live uh crime what do you call it it's a sex crime type of um platform that they're on and i forgot her name what was his name shoot i can't think of the cute uh man's name that was really in love with Liv. uh meaning the um the, the what do you call it the lieutenant she was or she was the chief at one time but anyway that's neither here nor there i was talking about this particular article on uh garcelle and some of the other cast members on real housewives of beverly hills getting people getting hate messages and stuff of that nature i'm like come on come on bravo y'all gotta do better y'all got to do better than what you're doing it's called protecting your employees as well as your employees children because you do go into their home environment you do show the interaction between parent and child and y'all got to take some responsibility for these people getting trolled and getting hate messages to where they don't really feel safe uh, taping or going around certain people when you have to be out and about in the environment and taping um, scenes in restaurants or other public forums or hell, even showing uh, them in their home environment. So, yeah, y'all need to petition Bravo, in a sense. And it's just a, it's just me giving my opinion to straighten this shit up, okay? So, because uh, Nene Show didn't do no good job. She was just in and out. She was just there for herself, allegedly. And getting what's good for her. But hopefully y'all can work this situation out. Hopefully the hate messages and uh, texts will stop. Because, yes, the kids on uh the show did not uh sign up for it they might like reaping the benefits meaning getting extra money to their allowance or you know them saying to other people well my mom is on this uh hit show called you know real housewives of beverly hills and uh we we cool we celebrities in a sense <laughs> if you want that type of notoriety to be played on for your kids um uh, you know, uh, saying or talking to their friends at school, yeah, my mom saw this, my mom know this celebrity, and this, that, and the third. Along with that comes a whole lot of mess as well. So you got to pick and choose, got to pick and choose, ladies and gentlemen, when you want to be a part of the entertainment business, okay? And you want to be making that million-dollar payday. A lot of cons, not pros, cons come with that type of notoriety okay where well, it inflicts you sometimes neg negatively as well as your family members but that's all i got for uh this particular video on miss garcia bouvier uh and her two sons but one son is getting bullied uh and the other son is being talked about like a dog okay putting all his business out there and he didn't tell nobody it maybe garcia Made it a storyline here and there, but that's something Garcia's going to have to think about going forward. But that's all I got for this particular video, guys. Get down in those, get down in those comments. Let me know what y'all thought about that. Do you think it's fair that the children of these reality stars need to be um, talked to or done this way on social media? Getting hate mail because a group of people are not liking one person and they think they can do something to change the situation meaning children on the outside let me know what you think and i'll see y'all next video bye bye